Then on the other side of things, we have this news courtesy of BBC regarding Elizabeth Holmes, the former founder of Theranos, who's obviously in trouble, was obviously on trial recently for scamming and swindling investors out of millions, if not billions of dollars. Um, it was interesting to see people, there's a clip going around now of um, someone shouting at her mum her mom or something, or at her or something. It's a bit lame overall. Um, I'm of, again a similar ilk to some people have said as you know as a uh, heinous as she has been as a person considering the time that's passed and whatnot i don't know does she deserve to get double digits prison time i'm not too sure i guess the only thing that kind of sticks out to this is like who died off the back of kind of waiting for this fairness machine to be put together or to be you know sold or shipped to them whatever it may be or maybe who died under the pressure i think there's one dude in it right there's a founder or someone that worked with the company who essentially was gaslit by elizabeth holmes to the point where he felt he had to take his own life because i think he felt you know he felt a little bit conflicted that he was um he felt, i think he felt a little bit conflicted that he was basically having to work for the company and lie um about their results or lie about how well they're doing and if I'm not mistaken, I think the wife is basically coming after Elizabeth Holman or her own civil suit, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe there you'd, you'd think she deserves some jail time. But I don't know, man. These people are just... They're a different breed, isn't it? I don't necessarily see jail time is actually going to teach her any lessons. She might come out of it even more emboldened and willing to prove her quote-unquote doubt was wrong. But anyway, it sees the following. Silicon Valley's trial of the century. BBC News it says it was a verdict that reflected the often painful complexities of contradictions of the blood testing company Theranos. Four guilty verdicts, four acquittals, and three charges on which the jury couldn't agree. For many who had followed the Theranos saga, the podcast, the distant from to the documentaries, the books, you might have thought that Elizabeth Holmes' conviction was nailed down. After all, she had cleared her diagnostic machine, could test a, you know first hundreds hundreds of diseases that weren't there um and she was the founder chief executive of fairness so surely the back would stop with her in the court and that's the thing that the big thing that stuck there because the thing that kind of fucked her over in general because her defense about her ex-boyfriend or ex-fiance whoever that was guy right one of the other i think investors of it of the company how about he was abusive and he bullied her and all this sort of stuff doesn't really had weight or doesn't really hold any weight or isn't really believable because in every bit of media we saw elizabeth holmes in when she was running fair enough she was a strong badass kind of woman right kind of running this company in a man's world and kicking ass and you know shaking babies and whatnot so to suddenly go from that person to suddenly i was this meek affluent white woman that just kind of got intimidated by this immigrant dude that doesn't sell do you know what i mean that really doesn't sell she's trying to do it and it obviously did the the jury didn't bite um but I underestimate homes at your peril this woman who created a nine billion equivalent to 6.6 .6 billion company to she set up when she was 19 a woman who at one sorry at one point had the world at her feet who bill clinton joe biden could both praise crazy to actually come in it the videos of her just talking are the best though because that fake voice is just epic i really can't wait until she has a prison or a post-prison interview and she drops the fake voice so we get to hear what she actually sounds like that'd be hilarious um it's this year there was another reason to think homes might be acquitted there are four cases um these four cases are extremely difficult to prosecute jurors are asked to consider hundreds of difficult technical documents and sit for evidence from dozens of witnesses yo this text is kicking my ass the same way ad reads kid brendan's in it i don't know what's going on with me today um holmes just said that i am just had a baby though and some comments believe that she would stare systematic sympathetically character she, she would what and con commentators believe that she would strike a sympathetic character um holmes was also personally given evidence and a usual thing to happen in a fraud case she described a relationship with a then foreigner chief executive officer ramesh sunny balawani so i've mentioned before um who she claims uh exercised coercive control over her she also said that she might have been mutually so sexually abused mrs balani denies this accusation imagine you right you're you're the former girlfriend or former boyfriend or former boyfriend let's say of elizabeth holmes because obviously you work together and you build up some sort of relationship or kinship whatever it may be she gets in trouble for something that she clearly did on her own and you're somewhere else living your own life with your own family your own kids and she's suddenly throwing under the bus and your twitter your pings are going off the chain i wonder what that could feel like i really do 
Um, Holmes was also personally given evidence in the court. Uh, unusual thing to do. do, do sorry, continues here. Um, but um, I missed that bit here. So, yeah, Holmes' defense was believed. Um, also, um, to Holmes defense also believed that they had one killer argument that Holmes ever sold her shares, which was a bad argument, really. Her defense argued that if she was a genuine fraud, she would have taken the money and ran. Instead, they said she believed that what she was doing, or she just had enough money where it didn't matter. Because again, we have to remember this Elizabeth, this you know, Elizabeth Holmes woman doesn't come from a poor family, made a bunch. I think we've been speaking towards what not. Maybe she just lived off that. Who knows? But it doesn't necessarily give a good sign that she was not guilty. To be honest, that. But hey. It says, yeah, um, you bet things can be true. You can have a vision, great, and a mission, as Holmes would call it. At the same time, Holmes was shown evidence that she herself admitted didn't look good. She said on more than one occasion that there were things she would have done differently in hindsight. One particular example that sticks out when the logic, so when the logos of Pfizer and the Glasso Stream, Glasso Stream, that's what Smith Klein were used, sorry, to support the two pharmaceutical companies that had endorsed Theranos. They had done so in no such thing. The production prosecution made this massive major leap in their argument as soon as they could to get a smoking gun. Yeah, man. And I've <laughs> I've been there, I really have. I've worked for startups where they purposely fudge the numbers or the ones that are the best is where they make everything seem like it's automated but it's not we're the ones that are automated in the background in the back end right whether it's like a payment platform a shipping platform an admin platform whatever we're the ones manually doing it but from the front it looks like somebody um when you're front facing on a website it looks like somebody's basically you know it's an automatic robot that will just happens or you know on its own it's like no no there's someone approving that shit and telling you guys to sit side by side or whatnot you know what i mean that's mad to think about right hey um homer's defense was also had a major hole in the air in it among everything you speak about for says that homes on the company like an old obsessive autocrat she knew everything about it when she grew up so again that does worry this comment that she was just some dandelion who had no idea what was going on it says here yet part of her defense was built that she didn't know that there was a sorry that there was happening in her community or that major problems in this tech are all often she said that she wasn't aware of the information put in the company commentators but try their orders um, blah, blah, blah. cool yeah. again all this effort just required i don't know holmes always wanted to be in control and some in particular either, so she decided to testify to be in the driving seat of her own defense it didn't work but yeah um so sentencing soon we're gonna see what's gonna happen it probably does spell the end of the girl boss it probably does spell the end in some way shape or form of people deleting people on just the strength of what they say they need to come back to a point in life where we kind of believe people of the strength of their character and how they act and how other people speak about them and the work they produce just you know what i mean that should be what we're about nowadays unless so on just oh these are heat these are heat no no no. let's talk about what this person's like as an actual human being and maybe we can get some way whether or not this is going to change things i don't think it has i think there's a line here that says um um da -da -da -da. Um, but others would wonder whether it would change anything in the Silicon Valley and there are still major rewards um, for letting dreams, for letting investors, um, for telling investors what they think they want to hear rather than what they want to hear, which is true, um, definitely for sure. But I just think, I just think the, um, the risk, the, the reward far outweighs the risk when it comes to startups. Like if you can prove a proof of concept or, you know, you can ship your product and, you know, in a minimal viable form and then you can get it to raise some level of funding that far out reaches what you're actually currently worth, which could then allow you to get more staff and expand your company and maybe get a new office space. I don't see why you wouldn't lie. Like I said, the rewards are just too outlandish for there not to be one. That's the only concern I have with all of it. Um, and it looks like everyone's trying to become the next whatever, whatever it may be. And I think even the time that property management company I was working in was basically saying they want to be the disruptor of, Airbnb, of disruptive hotel similar to what Airbnb was. It's like, eh, okay, I guess so. Um, that didn't necessarily, you know, inspire confidence. But again, like I said, I think the rewards are just too great. People are always going to lie, especially if there's reward like this, because I think most people in a position, if they're smart or if she had allies, maybe she does get away with it. But, you know, you left a trail of dead bodies in your wake. Um, most likely, I think, you know, for sure, for sure, for sure, there's definitely somebody who passed away from complications based on the machine itself. 
But again, I mentioned there's one guy who passed away, unfortunately, because he took his own life off the back of the stress of working out there. And also maybe some other things going on in his life. So she's definitely got blood in her hands in some way, shape or form. But whether or not this deserves actual proper sit down jail time and that's going to change anything. I have my doubts. I really do have my doubts.